12 Now's Kate Levins introduces us to those working to make a difference in your community with Kay. Welcome back everyone. In some of your community news today, we are learning more about spirits in the wild at the Chattanooga Zoo, a great event that you're definitely going to want to check it out. And joining us now to tell us all about it is Miss Darty Long. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank, Thank you, for you. Me. absolutely for being here and you brought a friend with you. I did. This is Yoshi and Yoshi and if he sticks his tongue out, you can see why it's called a blue tongue. Blue tongued skink that's hard to say now is he one of the ambassador animals he is. at the Chinese Zoo? He's one of those really cool animals that we take out and you can see he's a pretty chunky little fella now don't look at me like that <laughs> apparently he does get as my staff put it feisty feisty, feisty. okay feisty <laughs> tell us what makes him unique well you know it's because his tongue is blue i mean that's kind of an obvious but he's a really cool animal that can eat he's omnivorous which i found kind of interesting because he will eat a lot of times they're either like you have vegetarian type lizards and then you have the more carnivorous this guy will eat just a little bit of everything and so he can survive really well in just about any habitat but new guinea and um, australia is where he's found so and we don't have a lot of australian animals just because we don't have a big Australian zone, but for an ambassador animal, he's really great. He's got good size, and he's got any he, shedding. I don't know, like, cause cut Look at stuff. that! Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna leave a little trail of us. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, a little trail of pixie dust That's behind right. us. But, but he'll be available at the Chattanooga Zoo to check out if you go to see spirits in the wild. That's right. We have a lot of ambassador animals out, and you know, spirits in the wild's been around. I was just counting up. I think we did our first one in 2003, so it's been around for a minute. And it's a walk through, get you know, have a cocktail, try maybe try a new kind of liquor or wine, and walk around the zoo. Plus, we have restaurants, and bless their hearts, after all they've been through, they are responding to us and bringing out samples, and we're so pleased to have them back. You know, it was last year was a much toned down version, but this year we're selling tickets pretty fast online, so it's really going well. That's wonderful, and it's such a great event. I have been before, and you also have a speaker when you, usually when you come. Are you guys having someone this year? No, that's usually at Banana Ball, but okay. stay tuned because Banana Ball will be back. It's been gone for a couple of years, but it will be back. This is more of a roam around the zoo thing. We have some music and also, but we do have a very special Banana Ball lined up. This is uh, our 85th anniversary year, so we've been around a minute too. Lots of anniversaries in the Lots town. I know, I know. I know. The Aquarium celebrating 30 years. 30, long, 87. I know. Wow. I know. Lots. It's crazy. It's going to so, be a fun event. But yeah, spirits is great. You can get, uh, there's food all around. There'll be music, um, animals, of course. We also have some really cool artists that do different kinds of work that'll be doing special works that you can purchase there. And it's just a lot. We also have a ring toss off for wine. You can win a bottle of wine. So really neat. Kind all of right. fun. Yeah. So if folks would like to get some tickets, how do they do that, Darty? Uh, www.chatzoo.org. And you need to purchase them online. We for online, we have found that's one of the good things I think that came out of COVID is that we all learned it helps us uh, handle capacities and we still don't want to overload too much. So we'll be watching that. So yeah, I need to get them now because they go really fast. All right, let's talk about the kiddos. They all love going to the Chattanooga Zoo and this summer you guys are having some camps. Tell us a little bit about it. We are, you know, summer camp is back in full form. It's been amazing just to have it back, but it's really back and right and it's selling out so fast and I think people are ready to get outside. They're ready to turn loose and our summer camps are really cool. Our staff does an amazing job and we have kids who come and go like several weeks in the summer because they you know split it up and do different things and then we have kids who come back and say you know I went to summer camp when I was just a kid here and that's really fun and then after that they can actually go to zoo club which is something that's out for the older kids that have kind of graduated out so there's always something fun going on down there. Lots <laughs> of fun activity so if folks and want to register their kids they can do that online as, as well, well at and website. learn more about the prices. That's right. All right. Darty, thanks so much for joining us it's and telling us be about, back. Yeah, yes. He didn't all the stick things his tongue going on out. at the Chattanooga Zoo. If you would like some more information okay. about how to purchase tickets or register your kids for a summer camp, just go to their website. For more on this interview, go to our website. That's at WDEF.com.